So, as you'd expect, we've got theory modules for reference, counting the pentatonic scales by semitone, great diagrams by the way, and all the pentatonic scales played on the virtual MIDI piano keyboard, and so on. But as we all know, reading about it doesn't get you very far. That's why we've got staged, progressive keyboard drills which give you the opportunity to work through the build-up of the major and minor pentatonic scales in all keys yourself. But as you'll know if, you do, if you've done any work with Musicata before, our first imperative isn't theory. That piece in the background, for instance, is the first piece in the workbook, the one octave blues. Up and down the minor pentatonic scale in three places, nice, easy, all-white keys for beginners, every step demonstrated, and how to practice it. You can't go wrong. Then on to a piece which does the same thing for the pentatonic major scale. Counting the scales as you go so that you can see where the characteristic sound comes from, and with an accompaniment to practice over as you build your performance. Another easy showcase piece, and another stylistic building block for your bag of creative tricks. Now the basic five tones of the pentatonic scales often get embellished with a couple of characteristic additional semitones, which you're going to want to know about to flesh out your melodies and improvisations, and to hone your playing by ear skills. So that's what's up next. Pieces which build on what you already know and demonstrate the new material. And as you learn more notes, you get more options. Mix and match blues is an exercise in playing by ear, which also invites you to exercise your musical judgement and craft your own arrangement from a selection of building blocks. Composing at the keyboard, we call it here at Musicata. Sort of slow motion improvisation, really. Now, what about playing by ear? It's really not much of an exaggeration to say that most of the popular music melody you hear is mostly pentatonic. So if you can find the major and minor pentatonic scale tones on the keyboard, which, if you work through this course, you will be able to, you'll be way ahead of the game in terms of picking popular music melodies out at the key. So what I've done is create a playing by ear module with extra clues and progressive exercises through increasingly so-called difficult keys, which will leave you essentially knowing what the keyboard sounds like. And whether you're working on other people's material or playing your own, isn't that just what you want to know? And on to improvisation. Blues improvisation is nearly all purely pentatonic, usually minor. Piano blues is a whole genre in itself, of course, but even with just the basics, you'll have that blues sound down, and you can get a nice two-handed groove going. 12-bar pentatonic blues riffs get your mojo working. And what's music without mojo? At the other end of the spectrum, soaring, inspirational, major pentatonic soloing, massively productive in terms of effect from resources. Running up and down well-chosen fragments of that five-note major pentatonic scale has had and always will have audiences on their feet, if done. But let's not forget, everybody has to practice. You've got to put your road work in. But practice what? Practice interesting, attractive pentatonic patterns and you're virtually soloing already. The Musicata Pentatonics Workbook has enough practice patterns to keep you going for a year by which time you'll be making up your own anyway. Regular practice like this will teach you how to find the music you want to play and coach you in getting your fingers around the key.